Hello people and welcome to my video. In this video I'm going to show you how to fit this repair kit on the dashboard storage of a Ford Focus Mark II and Mark II.5. Now the tools I'm going to be using are my electrical cutters and I'm going to be using a scalpel knife but it is possible to do it with some little cutters like this and maybe a Stanley knife. Now let me just show you how you would do it with a Stanley knife. What you would do is you'd get up there like that and you would keep cutting like that. And just be careful not to slip off obviously. Until you can just go like this and it will snap off. And that's how to do it with a Stanley knife. Now the way I'm going to do it, with my electrical cutters, <clears throat> so what I'm going to do, I'm going to come in like this, make sure my cutters are level with that, and just squeeze, and that come off. Now what we need to do, it's going to leave a bit there as you can see, now what we need to do is we need to smooth that down, so it's level with this bit here. Now this can get dangerous. Now I'm just feeling just to see what I've missed. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand it down so it's nice and smooth because right now there's still a raised bit up there and it's it's gonna be almost impossible doing it with the knife. If we just what I'm using here is 320 grit, it's just like wet and dry sandpaper. I'm just going to keep feeling it. And as you can see, you can see where there is where the old bit was. And it's still raised up a little bit. So what it is best to do to get it as smooth as possible.
Now although you can still see that line, I am happy with that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean it up now. I'm just going to use some rubbing alcohol. And there we go, I'm happy with that. Yep, yeah. right. So now on to the next step, which is fitting this, this part. And what we'll do first, we're gonna put it in the catch. Now what, I am missing a step out here. Now just in case if your catch is broken, we'll just bring it like that. What we need to do, is we need something to get under it and pry it up. Now I'm just now obviously if you took it out of the car you can just push that in at one side and come up and then just push it up the other side and it pops up. If you're doing it whilst this is situated in the car, what we need is something to get under one corners. And we need to pop it up. Now that's too thin. That's too thin. I'm going to bend that. So let's pop that corner up. Going up, back up. And pop that corner up. It just pulls out like that. Then you just take your new one. You can see a right way and a wrong way. There's a little lip there. Now that's for that. Slides in. See if you do it the other way. If you do it the wrong way, it's going to be. So if there's any resistance there, you're doing it the wrong way. It should just literally slide in. Slank. Get it back like this. Now what we do, place this in there, like that. Make sure this is like that. Now what we do is we take this green film off. Then what we do and you have to do this because this isn't adequate to stick that to stick to that and keep it shut it's just not going to happen what we need to do is we need to take some super glue we just put a blob in the middle and just spread it round and obviously we have to be quick because super glue does go off quick Push it down, give it some pressure, lift it up, make sure it goes back in like that. Now it is catching a little bit at one side, I'm not quite. Now obviously, that is catching, but 
the other times I've fucked it, I've had enough time to just move this around just so it doesn't catch. But if you look, it's still just gotta there you go like that. Yeah, you can see how it's shut. And what you need to do once you've super glued this in, you need to leave it overnight open like this because if you're going to leave it shut down it's pulling between this and this and you need to give it time to f for the glue to fully set so if you were to do it at night and you left it like that when you come out in the morning there's a possibility it's going to be like that and that's going to be in here so you need to leave it open to let the glue go off now there are other glues that you can use i'm just using Super glue, just for an example, because it's quick setting, but you can use other glue that isn't quick setting, which gives you enough time to move this about. But that's when you use glue that isn't quick setting, don't take your finger off like that because it's just going to fly back up and that's going to stay in there. As you can see, it's perfect. And I'm closing it and I am leaving my hands off it, so obviously, but honestly, just leave it open overnight like that. Give this full chance to go off, then it should be perfect then. Now what I've done on my car, because I've fitted one of these kits on my car before, I even started selling these kits. So from the day, the first day of my listings on eBay, it's always had in the description to use super glue. Now unfortunately not everybody reads that and they don't use any glue. And then they start mailing me saying it's broken, it only lasted an hour or two. That's because this adhesive is not strong enough for this force of pulling it open. So definitely super glue. I'm just using super glue from Poundland. But you can use other glues. And it's a simple fix. And there we go. If you have any questions or any problems, just mail me and I'll try and help as much as I can. Thank you. Just something I missed out. What I missed out is when I did mine, I let it set like this overnight. Then I got some super glue and I went all the way around it. All the way around. Just to give it that extra bit of bonding, just in case. And it's been fine. It hasn't come off once since I fitted it. And I fitted it uh, October of 2018, I think it was. And it's still fine to this day. So, yeah. Thank you. Just a quick follow up video, what we need to do once we've got this in place and super glued, we need to run super glue all around like this, all around four edges. Like that. Now what this does, it gets super glue onto this. So you need to make sure the super glue is touching the, all the sides, all four sides of this. Because then that's going to make it permanent then. If you don't do it all around four sides, there is a possibility that this is going to come detached. And the adhesive that was originally on this is still going to be stuck to this with the super glue. So then what you're going to need to do then is put super glue on top of the adhesive and then fit this back on. But if you put super glue around all four sides and make sure that it's touching this, then that is going to keep it as a permanent. So I hope that's helpful. Thank you.